Hey y'all, outside the shop right now. Uh, today we're gonna be making an integral style knife. And I'm outside because it's kind of loud in there. The forge is heating up right now. I'm gonna be using some 1085 round bar that I got from Pops Knife Supply. And... You can see that. I'm gonna be using this is the half inch diameter 1085 round bar. I also have one inch diameter 1085 round bar. I'm gonna be using this today. Probably cut off a two inch, two and a half inch piece and start working with that. So let's get into it.
really starting to isolate that bolster right there and working on my tang starting to round out the edge where I want the edge so I just put the 45 degree fullering dies back on the 12 ton uh, it's looking pretty good just isolated the bolster now I'm trying to uh, form somewhat of a knife now um, That's what we're looking at here. So right here we're looking at the as forged piece so meaning hasn't been to the belt grinder yet it's just straight out of the forge me using the 12 ton coal iron press and hammer and anvil so now I'm gonna take it to the grinding room and take it to the Ameribraid 2x72 fastback and clean it up a bit all right at the belt grinder and I have my integral uh, blade inside of this file guide made by Bill Benke. So basically you stick your blade inside of this little jig here and what it does is it keeps you true to where you're going to grind to um, so you can get a nice flush bolster so when it's time to put that handle on it should be smooth sailing. Alright, so I'm going to stick this here in the vise, like such, clamp it down, and we're going to do a lot of hand filing. So like I said, this keeps the bolster flush in 
this jig. So as you take away material, you can see where you're at as far as the, um, the sides of your bolsters are. So you want all those bolster sides of the knife to be nice and flush for when it's time to put your handle on, it'll slide right on there and there's no gaps. Um, you want a nice flush handle meeting the bolster. Bring it over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to keep eating away at the bolster on each and every side here. Until I get a nice flush bolster here. All right, so still filing away. I'm going to take it out. Let's look at it. Um, it's getting there. So, looking to get this entire portion flush. For when it's time to glue up that handle, there's no issues. Coming along nicely. All right, so we'll call that part one. Uh, this will probably be a three part series on this little blade here. <clears throat> I just took it off the belt grinder, cleaned it up a bit on there, and it's looking pretty cool. A lot of work to still do. So there's probably going to be a part two and a part three. I still need to heat treat, handle work, sharpen, all that good stuff. And then I'll probably give this away at the end of the video. And so thank you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the page. Appreciate you.